Hey everybody, Tom Barnes, Stories from the 78 here at the Logan Square Auditorium in, naturally, Logan Square. Uh, the Empire Strips Back. It's happening right now, Chicago run. So you gotta come down to the uh, auditorium here and check it out. I'm gonna talk to my friend James, who's the director and choreographer, and he also plays Chewbacca and many other things right now for this story from the 78. So let's go inside and see him and see some of the show. All right, so we're a couple hours away from showtime, and I have my friend James here. And James, there's something behind you there that is kind of key to what you do for Empire Strips Back. Aside from what you do, you're the director, the... Why don't you give your fancy title? Uh, so currently I'm the director of Empire Strips Back. Mm -hmm. I'm also the Chewbacca, Tonton, and one of the puppet masters in the show. I'm also a choreographer sharing choreography rights in the show with another choreographer named Lisa. And that, I imagine that takes a lot of work just because this is a burlesque show. Yeah. So there's a lot of dancing. Oh, yeah. So why don't you just give people that idea? You guys have been doing this since June 1st. You're, mm. you're, you're in the middle of the run here through the summer. Uh, people see this video. Why should they come? What makes this so unique outside of the fact that it's a burlesque? <laughs> I mean, it's kind of a question that answers itself. But you yeah. know what I mean, like the uniqueness of this. Yeah, it throws together two really great things like Star Wars and burlesque, entertainment, it brings in people's nostalgia for the original trilogy. We don't necessarily fo follow the storyline of The Empire Strikes Back, but we incorporate a lot of the fundamental characters of that particular episode. So as you can see, the production quality is yeah, I'm extremely high if you check out Chewie. Yeah, look at that. Um, each one of those hairs is individually placed into that mask. It's incredible. So. Like the production quality in itself, I think, is one of the things that really blows people away. Not to give too many characters away as to what you're going to see, but things like the Tauntaun coming out, someone riding a Tauntaun on stage in front of you. It's, it's bringing Star Wars to life on stage for people that might not have seen the movie in a little while or that have grown up and been fascinated by it their whole lives. So... And we it's also a little sexy too. Yeah, right? it's a like, little sexy. We also catered to <laughs> not people, a little, probably a lot of sexy. <laughs> we catered to people that have never seen Star Wars before as well. So if they've never seen Star Wars before, they will still enjoy the show for the burlesque elements, the entertainment, the cabaret style dancing that's in there. Because there's there's lyrical pieces, there's hip hop pieces, commercial dance, and then of course your more traditional burlesque pieces in there as well. Yeah, and it's in a cool venue here at the uh, Logan Square yeah. Auditorium, which has hosted many things throughout its lifetime. I've seen many of show here. So that's in itself, it's a cool, cool neighborhood. Um, but you are fitting the character because you are tall. I noticed that as we were yeah. talking, you're tall. <laughs> Chewbacca was tall in the movie. Yeah. Um, but does it take a while to get into costume for these burlesque costumes? Like, you know, how does that whole thing work just for people who might yeah. be appreciative of the costumes and all that stuff? Well, it, like anyone that has done burlesque before might know some, some costumes can take half an hour to get into, one minute to get out of on the stage. <laughs> of course, right? And it always comes down to that. We don't have as intricate of costumes as that, but you know, Chewbacca can take me anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes to get fully ready and into. Um, then dancing in it is a whole other ball game. Like I got to yeah. dance basically wrapped in fur like a wolf for six, ten minutes, I think our piece is, and uh -huh. then I've got to come off stage and just and get my life back together to then throw it back on and get back out on stage a little bit later. So there's a lot of challenges in there, um, but I don't think anything is too extremely intricate to go on as well, because we also design them for that ease of practicality in getting in and out of the costume on stage. And how long should people expect to spend here at the uh, auditorium just based on the showtime and all that stuff? I think it, it, with a 20 minute intermission in between, it ends up running about two hours. Oh, perfect. You've got a longer first act and a shorter second act. Well, I've got a bar here so you can grab yourself a drink. It's a really good night. The show gets better and better if you keep drinking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it also just gets better and better as it goes on, but the bar helps. Um, that 20 minute intermission, stretch your legs and then you come back for like a quick little extra bonus round for that ending and that's where some of the really big numbers start hitting and then a big finale and you leave with a big old smile on your face. And that's the whole point, right? Yeah. Have a good time, smile, get a oh, little nostalgia yeah. and a little sexy. Oh yeah. 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 Fantastic. Uh, the creator of the show, Russell S. Beattie mm -hmm. from Australia, he, he really has a really good idea. Oh, he has a really good eye for detail mm -hmm. and the combination of things that 
he brings in to create the show and Flo, like the, the soundtrack in itself is banging. Nice. And then the soundtrack mixed with what is actually happening on stage sometimes knocks people off their feet and going like, why is the Jedi dancing to this? Or, <laughs> oh, the Stormtrooper's doing this! And I'm going to stop giving away characters. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's all fun things to look forward to. And I, I, I'm guessing I'll, uh, the diehards will really be happy with this. Yeah. Just because it's you know it's fun you know oh, and yeah. you're dancing burlesque in star wars characters i mean you can't have a bad night if you have a bad night something else is wrong with you yeah. i don't know what to tell you yeah i think so <laughs> uh the best way for people to get tickets best way is through fever uh or going through the empire strips back instagram there'll be a link there for you guys to find tickets and we'll be looking for you when do you pop out in the show just so that people can keep an eye on chewbacca here well you yeah you won't actually see my face right in the no, show of at all um but you'll see Chewbacca towards the end of the second act, but you'll see me in the first act as well. Oh, okay. Sneaking in there. Sneaking in there. All right. And you'll, you'll see if, if you can spot it, you'll be like, wait, just look there, Lex. <laughs> uh, pleasure talking with you, James. Thank you Lovely so much. Lovely talking to you too, mate. Thank yeah, you. No problem. All right, so there you have it. That is the story from the 78 here in Logan Square. The Empire Strips Back running now through the summer. So be sure you go over to their Instagram or go to the Fever page, the whole thing to get tickets but a lot of fun i promise you that uh tom barnish chicago at gmail if you have a story from the 78 hit me up there go to the website take a look at it the whole thing is all there for you take care see ya